John Neffinger is a political strategist and a former communications director for the Democratic National Committee. He joins us from Crested Butte in Colorado. Thanks for being with us here on Al Jazeera. Overall, then, how would you sum up Joe Biden's address we've just heard? It's an incredibly somber moment. Um, it, it's historic in every way that matters. And uh, I, I got to admit, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a hard bitten political pro over here, but I'm a little choked up. I really am. Um, I think Joe Biden has not been the best loved president of uh, the last 50 years, but but to a lot of Democrats and a lot of progressives and a lot of liberals, he's been the best. He's been the best for regular American working people. And it's it's sad to see him go out anyway. Um, but it's amazing to see him step up and sacrifice his own personal ambitions for what he recognizes is the better path forward, that there wasn't going to be a way for him to, there was not going to be a way for him to win because the media was not going to let go of the story of his age. And so he needed to, to move beyond that and he needed to pass the torch. And so he did. But given what you say though, to what extent was this speech about his legacy? Uh, I mean, it, it was, he did take a bunch of minutes in the middle and rattle off all the various different things that he's so proud, duly, of having accomplished uh, during his term. And so he he took the opportunity to walk through that and to implore America one last time to appreciate all of the things that he's gotten done. But really, at the beginning of the speech and at the end of the speech, this was about the choice. He said, America's going to have to choose. And the, the choices, he, he cast it a bunch of different ways, but he, he cast it as promise or peril, past or future, right? And it's whether we're going to keep this republic or not. And that ultimately was what this speech was about. It was about not the long history that he's, uh, that he's um, crafted in this American political firmament. This was about this moment and what Americans watching tonight should be thinking about as they process everything that they're going to hear in the campaign to come. Does this pose then a dilemma for Republicans in terms of who to verbally attack now? Will their focus shift entirely to Kamala Harris? Yeah, it's been a it's been a silly last couple of days. Republicans have been trying to stir up some kind of controversy because they do that constantly, but they've done that focused on Biden now and saying, oh my goodness, you know, he was he was hiding um, the real truth about his age, which I think to some degree was true, but I, I think he was hiding it from himself as much as he was hiding it from anybody else, right? Um, and the, the so-called controversies about, about this, uh, you know, handoff, they are nonsense. Americans have looked at this. The polls are very clear. 80% of people approve of Joe Biden handing this off to Kamala Harris um, for the right reasons, too, not just because they want to be rid of him. Um, so people see this for what it is. This is a really, uh, it's the right gesture. It's the patriotic gesture. It's a selfless gesture, but it's also the right thing to do right now. And it will, as much as anything as he's gotten done in this presidency to date, it will define his legacy. John Effinger, we'll leave it there. Thanks indeed for your time. Thanks. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.